You are listening to the JJ Podcast, where discussions with people from all walks of life are being held. Here, one last uh, thing from you before we wrap things up. And this would be about, let's say, the most valuable lesson you learned um, from serving abroad. Perhaps it's a lesson or a story that kind of uh, forever uh, resonates with you. Maybe we can uh, mention that as a, as a, like a, you know, as a last story before we wrap things up. So, I mean, there's a lot of lessons I learned from being overseas, you know, Mm -hmm. um, it is, it is important speaking as an American that America realizes how well we have it, not to be, uh, cocky about it. Um, but we, we have it really well. Uh, so when people wonder why America spends so much, uh, quite frankly, uh, time and money on overseas, it's because we do have it really well. And when you have, you should provide. Uh, I, I think I, I totally get sometimes we don't feel appreciated enough, but um, oh, well, uh, we have uh, – natural resources and an abundance in our country that's phenomenal and i and i'm very proud to be an american but that's one thing as one story i would say is you know go through life humbly um i this might be an odd story but you know we were out on a random patrol um you know uh, in a in a war-torn country um we went into a town a village as we often did, and we'd eat lunch and talk about, you know, where's Al Qaeda? And they'd say, I have no idea who you're talking about. And they'd ask for a well, and we'd say, we get back to you and that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, it was a pretty dangerous area. And uh, before we left, we had candy. I always keep uh, Jolly Ranchers uh, now because of this. Um, you know, servicemen and women give out candy all the time because, of course, they're kids. And kids are the same everywhere. Well, so uh, we yeah. didn't do it because we wanted to leave quick because of the situation was deteriorating between us and getting home. But for whatever reason, I was like, I could see these little kids like they expected it. Right. Uh, so we, I gave them and sort of the rest of my guys gave them candy. And this one kid, after we gave him candy, uh, tentatively came back up to the window. I thought he was going to ask for the rest of the candy. And he said, Hey, I don't have to do an interpreter. You, you shouldn't go that way because, like, it's it's freaking mind, like the whole place. Uh, and we're like, oh, no kidding. Um, and we're like, can you tell us? Because there wasn't that many ways in and out of this place. And he was like, yeah, I can tell you. And we, you know, we came from another angle, and the kid was safe, and he was pointing at it. We even had him pointing like a laser pointer. And our EOD case came, and sure as shit, it was <laughs> it was. I mean, we would have oh been my God. red mist. I mean, it was it was enough to take out a. Uh, armored personnel carrier, let alone the little pickup oh. truck we were driving. So, uh, you know, so what's the lesson learned on that? Well, I mean, walk through life humbly, you know, be nice. You know, you can get yeah. a lot more being nice. You know, I mean, I can come <laughs> up with some lofty, you know, you know, serve the serve humanity. I would totally agree with that. But that, that was mm-hmm. kind of something that stuck with me. And, you know, you can get wrapped up in what you're doing and not listen to other people and kind of disregard people who you might think, you know, can't do anything for you. Um, but you never know. It might be that one kid that you give the Jolly Rancher to that says, hey, uh, I wasn't going to say anything. But now I am because you guys are going to go kaplooey when you go down there. And I mean, that's to- I'm obviously a totally true story. But I-, I would leave people with that. Like you can yeah. pass by people every day that might you might not think, you know, you need to deal with. Um, you might not think can do anything for you. But a measure of a person is how you treat people that you think can't do anything for you. I think that's a, that's mm. a belief. Before. Wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this clip from the JJ podcast. Be sure to share it with all your friends and subscribe to the YouTube channel.